Hello, welcome back. Good morning. It's time for another TFL update, which I haven't done for a very, very long time. You might have noticed when I first started the channel, all I was doing was TFL updates. But this is very important, so I'm going to cover this subject. This is a very exciting subject. The old 1992 tube stock, which is used on the central line, is going to be renovated. No, we're not going to um, get a new, completely new rolling stock, but it will be renovated to be up to date and fixed. So let's see what's going to be changed on this stock. So the improvements include a replacement of the DC chopper system and DC motors with the modern three phase AC traction package. Now what that means is that the sound of the trains when they're departing and when they're arriving is going to change. They're going to um, sound much more like the S stock. If you know that sound, I'm sure you love it. Um, and it's much better than the central line. So I'll really be looking forward to that because there's a lot of noise when the trains arrive at stations and depart from stations. So I'm sure there'll be a big improvement for commuters who use the central line as their daily commute. Now, there will be display boards added, which will be connected to the information system, the PA system, and it will say what the next station is, what lines you can change there for, uh, and where the train terminates. It will be a bit like the, uh, the Northern Line, the Jubilee Line, the Victoria Line, etc, etc. So that will be updated so that passengers can access this information easily if they're not very familiar with the route they're going on. Also, automatic download via 4G and the station Wi-Fi will be provided and the Wi-Fi supplier will be EKE Electronics from Finland. There will be two um, CCTV cameras for each car which will improve security and they'll be able to monitor everything so that they make sure that everything is safe on the carriages. Now new LED lamps will be installed on the carriages. They will be more eco-friendly because they will be using less energy than the current ones and also to add to that they will be brighter than the ones we have so that's a incredible pro and it's good that tfl is trying to uh, help save the environment by using less energy the supplier for these lights uh, will be lpa from the uk now the interior of the cars will be modified to provide compliance with the rail vehicle accessibility regulations of 2010. So this will include spaces for wheelchairs. Another good thing they're doing is they're going to repair um, anything that's broken. So they'll be repairing door pillar cracks and floor corrosion on all of the cars, which means there'll be typically 80 to 90 welds per two car unit. Now, when this program is going to be up to speed, because they've already started it, but they're going uh, with very slow progress, there'll be five trains out of service, and each will take 10 weeks or 50 days to complete, with one train out of service or back into service every 10 days. So there might be a little shortage of trains, but that won't be much of a problem, because remember, they'll be renovated and they will return just like new. Now, each of these trains will go through different stages. So the first thing is that at the Rice Slip Depot, uh, Metropolitan and Piccadilly Line trains uh, will drive the trains to the Acton Works. Now at the Acton Works, the train will be split into uh, individual cars and then the unwanted things that are inside them will be removed, put for scrap, and then the next stage will be installing new uh, new equipment and then still at the Acton Works the trains are going to be tested on a short test track and then they're going to be driven back to the Rice Slip Depot. At the Rice Slip Depot uh, they're going to be authorised to enter service and then we're going to get these new trains. I can't wait. I'm sure that as soon as there'll be more cars renovated I will go and ride on one of these central line trains and make sure to make a video about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like if you enjoyed it um, and share this video with other people who might be interested in this subject. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in transport and you enjoyed this video and please tell other people about my channel to support my channel so that you can help 
um, rise it to 1,000 subscribers, which is my goal for this year. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. And yes, the first renovated train will be coming this month, so do look out.